test it, they'll test it, anything you see. Test it, post a video every single week. Healthy and unhealthy, just for you and me. Test it, test it, anything you see. Hey guys, welcome back to your tested video. Today we're going to be making a pretty simple cake with an American buttercream. It is going to have two layers, and you could say two tiers because we will have one small tier on top. So, let's get into it. For the cake today, you will need one bigger cake pan and one smaller cake pan or a cupcake. My bigger cake pan is about eight inches wide. And then you will also need some spring oil. For the cake itself, you will need an extract. I'm using almond extract. You will need some vegetable oil. I'm using mazzola corn oil. Then you'll need sugar, self-rising flour, milk, and two eggs. You will also need to mix and measure a measuring cup and a bowl. So the first ingredient you're going to need is two cups of flour. Now if you don't have self-rising flour, you can just add about two teaspoons of baking soda to your mixture and it should work out fine. The batter should look something like this when it is all done being mixed. Now we are going to spray our cake pan and pour the batter in. First batch of batter in our cake pan, we are going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And the cake will bake, bake for 12 to 15 minutes or until you can put a toothpick or a fork in there and no batter comes out. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you a quick pro tip. Never ever for any dessert, whether it's cake, cookies, brownies, don't put them in the oven before the oven goes bing, telling you that it has reached the temperature you said to. 
If you put it in before, they will not bake or set as well. So be sure that you wait till the oven is at 400 degrees. All right guys, so while my other cake is baking, because the oven is now at 400 degrees, um, I'm going to be making the next batch of batter for the second layer of cake. And hopefully we'll have enough left over to put in the mini top tier. This will all be on a time lapse, so enjoy! Okay guys, so I just took the little mini top tier and the first layer of big cake out of the oven. Um, let them cool for about half an hour with the cake pan that you took the first layer of cake batter and now cake out of. You can put the other batch of cake batter in and bake at 400 for 15 minutes. Okay guys. So now we're gonna level our two cakes. To level them, I'm using a sashimi knife. Um, a little strange, but it is a really smooth knife and it cuts pretty beautifully. So that's why I chose this knife. Now let's remove the muffin top. Doesn't look too bad. Apologies for the background noise, the hood is on above my stove because the other cake layer is baking. take the little crack part off so I can level easier but we will reattach it okay. it looks pretty level now so I'm just gonna do a little more shaving just to get a pretty perfect flat top yep pretty perfect okay we will now put the little piece, piece back on and move on to our mini one so here we have the mini cake and the muffin top. If you're curious why it's in a pie crust pan, it is because the pan I was baking this in was leaking a bit, so the, all the oil had to go somewhere and it went into this pan. Now we're gonna level this bad boy. It's a little more difficult because I'm inside a cake pan, but that's okay. This one should be fairly easy to level, just because it's really small. There will be crumbs everywhere, by the way. You can see by my countertop. Um, so don't feel like your cake is bad if that happens. This one looks pretty level. Let's check with the ruler. Yep, pretty perfect. Okay guys, now we just have to wait until my other cake layer bakes. I will level that and then we'll move on to the frosting. My cakes are level, it's time to make the buttercream frosting. For the frosting, you'll need a measuring cup, your mixer, one stick of butter, some
some food coloring, one tablespoon of water, two tablespoons of milk, and two cups of powdered sugar. So first we're going to add our room temperature butter to the mixer. You should be using a flat feeder for the attachment. Now I'm going to measure out my powdered sugar. gel food coloring because it doesn't fade after a while, unlike um, liquid food colorings, but liquids can have a stronger color, so keep that in mind. Okay, and that's all the blue I'm going to add for this one. Just a tad bit darker. Because it's 
more green This is good. I think it goes with the other two colors pretty well. So now it's time to put them in piping bags and frost. Okay guys, before I start frosting, I just wanna let you know that you should 100% put a crumb coat on your cake, or if you don't have enough frosting bags, maybe you don't have enough powdered sugar so you can make extra frosting, put a crumb coat on to seal any cracks around the cake with the frosting you have, or else your cake is gonna crumble and you're not gonna get a smooth filter for the end. So I just did that. Once you fill those cracks or put a crumb coat on, put it in the fridge for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on if you did a crumb coat or just some cracks here and there. So once mine are done chilling in the fridge, I'm going to frost them all nice and smudge them up and make them look great. Okay guys, so remember when you're stacking your cakes that you need to add supports. So I'm using skewers and they don't work as well as like straws that are thick such as Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, and Baba Tea straws. Baba Tea straws are actually doing the best. A lot of professionals use them, but I don't got any. So skewers work. You're gonna need more skewers and they don't hold quite as well. So just be aware of that. Don't try to make too tall of a cake and you don't those straws. But I just wanna remind you guys to add supports in your cake. Okay guys, so I have my support skewers and now I'm going to start piping. finished product it's not perfect but i don't know if i told you this it's my first time ever decorating a real cake i've done cupcakes but not a cake so i don't think i did too bad um the little cupcake mini cake thing we made for the top i decided to crumble up actually and make it into like a sandy island instead of just like a normal island because i did not have enough frosting to frost it actually to make it the way I wanted. Also, I was struggling to make a palm tree that I wanted to put on. So, I thought this would work as some sand. Um, you can still see the cake, that's why I recommend a crumb coat. But like I said, if you're like me, who was low on powdered sugar and they really didn't have enough to do a crumb coat, I think this is pretty good for that. So, I'm gonna do a taste test and we'll see how everything tastes. Okay, so now it's time for the taste test. Let's try this. Good. On the 
just add a frosting. Frosting, it would work better if you have more frosting, 100% would work better. But this came out great all in all, and I definitely recommend trying it. Bye!